Um, I've been using the PEM scanner to work up my newly diagnosed breast cancer patients. Um, I found that it's very um, invaluable in determining the extent of disease and that in turn helps me um, with my surgical recommendations. It gives me an opportunity to get a three-dimensional reconstruction of the cancer in the patient's breast and I use that information to help me design the lumpectomy if um, I feel the patient is a candidate for that. Um, or it may convince me that the patient is not and that a mastectomy is a better choice. Um, I also have been using it to work up my patients that have more locally advanced breast cancer and are thought to be candidates for preoperative or neoadjuvant chemotherapy. We use the PEM scanner to um, assess the extent of disease when they're first diagnosed. The patient then goes to the medical oncologist to complete their preoperative chemotherapy uh, course of treatment. After they've had complete response or maximum response after the chemotherapy regimen, I reevaluate the patient with a PEM scanner to assess the extent of residual disease. And then that in turn can help me make recommendations to them for surgical treatment after that course has been completed. Um, I may find that they've had a, a very good response and they can be a candidate for breast conservation, or I might find that they have not and that they really should be treated with a mastectomy at that point. And then in addition to that, I've been using the PEM scanner to work up my patients that have already been treated for breast cancer and uh, monitor them for recurrence.